Okay hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a 6x6 advanced walkthrough solve. Now I've already done an advanced 7x7 walkthrough solve a few years ago. This time I decided to do a 6 because I've been getting really into this. This is the new Moyu Aoshi WRM 6x6 and you can get it now at Speed Cube Shop. This 6x6 is so good it's made me want to practice all the time. But anyway, let's get into the walkthrough. So I'm just going to mix it up a little bit more and here we go. So for advanced speed cubes, you don't necessarily want to just do bars just like this because I can see that we have a bar here, a bar here, and a couple of bars here. So bars are good sometimes. You can also do moves like this, which add two by twos just like so. And then we add other two by ones and we can create bars that make these four along here. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna go through what I would do in this situation and hopefully you can learn something. So the first thing I see is this green. I also see there's a yellow here, which could be nice. I think that's about it. There's this blue here as well. Actually blue is pretty nice. So first thing I look for is to finish off a bar. There's a piece, there's a centerpiece just here, which I can put in in one move. And then I know that the other two are here and here. And the centerpiece is the ones you want to look out for the most. So I know that when I slice through here, just like this, this will leave that one completely untouched because it didn't go through there. And so now I can switch straight to this one and I knew that this was here. So I would finish this bar like that. Now the thing on six by six to know is if one of the wings here is either on the left or the right. So I know that this one will go in here, but if it was here, then it wouldn't. So when I do this turn, I'll put that up just like so. But if it was like this here, I know that that doesn't go up because it'll be on the opposite side. So that's just a thing you need to sort of look out for when solving. So now that I've made this bar, I will know that it's on this side as well. So I'll rotate it like this. I remember that I didn't orientate this correctly. So I'll turn this. And then instead of turning and pushing like that, it's actually best to look at this side and just turn like this, just in case there were some blue ones that come in front. This time there wasn't, but that's okay. So I know that the blue's on this side and now I can rotate and I'll look around the cube. So I see this case here, which is pretty good. If I turn this up, I know that I can put this one in between these two, just like so. And then I see the last corner, just like that. And if I rotate like this, I know that this piece will go into the left as well, just like that. Now, the last place I want a blue to be is on this side because I want them all through here making easier rotations. So because there is one, I'm going to connect that one up first. So I'm going to connect that one to this, just like so. And then I know that there's nothing on this side, so I never have to look there again. And I can see the last two blues, put that one in there, and then the corner, just like so. And then I'll finish off this. As I was turning that, I noticed that all of these centers on the green were like that. And so this is a good opportunity to show you some block building techniques. So I would first do this, connect this one up. And then I saw that there was uh, this piece, these two by one here as well. So I could turn that here and put that back. And then I'll make the last two by one using this piece and this piece. So how I would do this is rotate like that up across down and then that makes the correct one that I could just pair up as so and now I'll put this whole four by two up here just like that and then blues obviously solved green solved and there's nothing here which is good so I know that all of these are here now looking here first I would connect this one up just like so and when I did that I saw that there was another edge that came up so I'll finish that rotate quickly see this green center just like so uh, now I know that that's on the bottom, so I would just do this, just like that, to connect that one. And then this one's pretty good, so I would do this, grab the green here, and I know this one will just come down just like that. And so now I'll finish off green by doing this, and there's green and blue already solved. So next, uh, looking at this, I would do white, because I could see this one and this one, like that. Uh, and then I would actually do the edge uh, just like this so I would use this piece I'd break this one up just because it's not that good um, find this one here put that up and then slide those up together putting this two by four at the bottom and then continuing on to uh, I would actually do the outer bar again because there's this nice case that I could just put like that and then uh, instead of breaking this actually I would break this because I don't want this case because we're already doing our last outer bar. So if we break this, we'll get more of a chance of having a good inner bar. So we'll break that, put that up, and then rotate just like so. And keeping here, 
Um, I would put this one like that, uh, get the last center, connect that up. And then I know that uh, it's on this slice. And so I can do this and then rotate like that. And now white's on the bottom and we're going to continue. Red looks pretty nice. Gonna just finish that one like this. Uh, I would do this red bar here. Uh, if I couldn't find anything good, I would use this corner, which actually this is pretty nice here. So I don't wanna break that. First thing I would do is looking up here, I would connect this, boom, 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 and then put that in like so. And then I know where the last corner is just like this. And when I bring this down, I'll replace this like so. And now, first thing I want to do is get this out of the way. So just push that there. And then we'll finish off this. So this is a pretty bad case for red, um, but I'll put this like that. And I know that that'll bring this down. So connect that bar and slice that back in just like so. And now we've got the final edges. Now, this is actually a very good case. We've already got a bar here, already got a bar here. Yeah, that'll break that, but that's fine. I'm going to connect that back up. And now what I can do is something like this, which gives me a bar again, put that in. And then this, I'm going to connect this corner with the last two, just like so. Insert this bar, just like that. And then do a commutator for the last. And that solved everything. Color scheme is correct. So let's continue on with the edges. So uh, I would do orange because orange and white, because this looks pretty good just here. Insert that like so. Um, and I knew that there wasn't anything on top, so I'd rotate. I see the orange and white just here, put that in, slice, slice. And then uh, I would put this one in because I could see that green is, these two were here. And so I would insert these like that. And then uh, this one just here. And I'll bring this up, slice across, flip this one, and then bring this back. And that made that bar there. Next, looking at the bottom, I see that we have this blue and white here, which is also the same as this one. So I would put that in just like so. Uh, then put the last blue and white here. And I can see this one's here. So I would sledge that in just like that. And then uh, I see that there's a green, green and red with this green and red. So if I insert that like that, uh, this one's flipped, so and I can't see anything on the top. So this one here, um, I would put in, and this is actually nice because I can see a bit of look ahead with this uh, blue and red, which I knew that I put one up the top. So when I insert that, I put that one in just there. And then uh, the blue and red's here, slice that, put that one in and then just put the last one in just like that um, so the whole bottom's done and now I can just focus on looking at the top so nothing too great but I can see that the yellow and orange just like this uh, this one's here so I will insert this one where that was and now I know that this is in the top so I can just put that in like that uh, and then I'll replace it here with this green and blue um, looking around, I saw this, so I'll keep that in mind, uh, but I will finish this one off first, just like so, and then insert the one that we saw before, put that back, and then I saw this one here, so I'll just flip this, slice across, and that's our last edge. So now I can actually see that we can just do a quick one, two, and that solves all the centers. Uh, this is actually pretty lucky, so I can see here, we have uh, this red, so I just put this side up, slice across, and noticing this color was blue, um, I'll put the blue at the bottom, so when I slice back, it'll pair that up nicely, uh, which didn't really do too much, but next I would do this blue and yellow, like this, I would replace it with this one, slice there, and then put this back, um, and then that just made this one here. So this is green, i right, slice this, Put this next to the green one and then put that back uh, and now i would replace this like so and i can see that we won't have parity which is nice so all i would do is just rotate this one across replace this green with the side flip and then replace back and that's done and as we were doing that i saw the yellow was making some nice edges but 
it's actually not that good, but we do have a, a free pair. So I would just finish this off just like normal. Um, and we got parity again. And there you have it. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was informative. Let me know if there's anything you would have done a little bit differently so we can help out the comments. And make sure to use code NOBLE at Speedcube Shop for 5% off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.